So why don't we start with the big names and then we'll work our way down. Uh, Justin Jefferson is obviously the biggest one with the coaching change to go to Kevin O'Connell. But I've said on the show, Mike, that I think if you're changing too much about how Justin Jefferson is used, you're probably making a mistake and your projection has him for 101 catches for 1,417 yards and eight touchdowns. I think that this is much more reasonable than saying, oh, they got, you know, Cooper Cup's offensive coordinator. So 130, 140. I, I don't think that that if they're using him that way, that means a lot of short passes like they use with Cooper Cup probably means you're taking away some of his deep targets. I don't know that that would be the right way to go about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, I, I felt like he's been used great, right? He leads the NFL in receiving yards over the past two seasons. Actually, he was number one in air yards and number two in end zone targets last year, right? So a lot of volume, uh, volume down the field and volume near the end zone. I mean, what, how are you going to really change that up? I, I don't know what, what you would do. I mean, I guess certainly you can get more creative and they're going to uh, with him, but you know, what they have been doing has worked, you know, say what you want about the Zimmer era. Maximizing Justin Jefferson has not been a problem for, you know, for those coordinating the offense and certainly for Kirk Cousins who say what you want about him. He knows how to get the ball in the hands of his, his star players. So, I mean, look, I have him as the number two fantasy wide receiver this season. If you wanted to take him over the older Cooper Cup, expecting him to come back to earth after a, a heck of a grind last year. I mean, remember, it wasn't just all that volume in the regular season. It was four playoff games as well. He basically was used more than, you know, maybe the most, you know, heavily used season in NFL history for a wide receiver almost certainly was. So I would have no issue if you wanted to go Jefferson as the top wide receiver this year. And uh, he's, he's, you know, he's been so good the past two years. So I haven't projected very high. And like you're talking about 140 catches or something. Is that a possibility? Of course. I mean, I would say that's, you know, more like his ceiling. But if anybody has a shot to get there, it's certainly him. But yeah, mine's uh, mine are going to be a little bit more reasonable. You'd still like if you bet these lines against the player props that will eventually be out from the sports books, I'm probably still going to lean toward the overs, which is not really smart. Uh, So they're a little bit aggressive, but they're also way more conservative than you'll see out there. I mean, I think a lot of people who do projections, they'd be like 80 percent over and you'd end up losing a ton of money if you bet uh, bet them on all, against all the props. So that's why the you're not going to see numbers here that are kind of extreme, but they're also you know pretty high numbers, 1400 yards and eight touchdowns for Jefferson. That would be a heck of a season. 